Hi everybody, this is TT Readings and this reading is going to be for Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you, Leo. Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. What are the messages for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs? Leo, check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended and in the extended we will clarify more for your person. How are they thinking and feeling about you? Their next moves towards you. Outcome of the situation between the two of you. Advice, oracle messages, love notes. Um, as well as what are the coming up energies for you in love. And guidance from the universe. So do check it out for further clarifications. Leo. Let's see. What do we have for Leo. Ten of Wands fell in the reverse on the floor. It looks like um, love is on your mind, Leo, but I think you're releasing a certain situation. Uh, to me, it almost looks like you're kind of like leaving something behind. The energy is kind of like, you know, I have love for this person, but it is time for me to release this. Or it's like you're not as stressed out about it the way you used to. For whatever reason but there is still love and this is like a past um connection with the past person the magician yeah i don't know why there's that energy of you know from you i'm getting that energy i tried and i tried to fix the situation all i could and now i cannot do much about it so you know if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't kind of an energy that i see you being in Leo, okay, and there's some sort of a burden here that you're releasing. With the Magician energy and the Ten of Swords, maybe you did try to fix the situation. Maybe you did try to um, do something here to, you know, manifest a connection. But again, you know, it, it almost looks like something was resulting in a burden. And you kind of like are putting it away, putting that burden away for whatever reason. I actually see you being very determined. It's like, you know, I'm going to be the one who gets to decide kind of an energy. Um, it also looks like you are in that energy where, you know. Let's see. Yeah, the Four of Cups. So maybe in the past you felt rejected or you felt like this person that you're connecting with was neglecting you. Um, but again, this almost looks like I have stuff to worry about you know maybe you are sure that this is going to manifest some way in you know in your life so you're not that worried about it you know you know that worried about manifesting it or working towards it for now it, it almost looks like for some of you it does look like you 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 tried to fix the situation leo but it didn't work out maybe um and the person that you were dealing with was, you know, they were lacking motivation and they were not really taking the situation forward, okay? There was some sort of like an indecision that I see here, okay? Some sort of like not being able to decide where's the relationship going on your person's part, okay? 701C, I, I see you standing your ground. I actually see you kind of like protecting yourself from something. Your main focus seems to be on other things right now. See, so this is something that you're not choosing to deal with. The, the energies are very strong that you're not choosing to deal with a certain situation. Even if there is love, it almost looks like temporarily you're kind of like zoning out of this and being in an energy where I think you're thinking more logically. The death energy. So... Your mindset is looking like, you know, if this person wants to connect with me, they can connect with me. I'm not going to be the one who actually initiates this. Um, it almost looks like you're trying to like focus on other things um, and manifesting things in your life because it's not like you're, you're feeling down. It almost looks like, you know, if something is meant to be, it will fall into place, kind of an energy. Overall energy for you with the four of swords. The Queen of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so it does look like you're kind of like working towards your stability. There's some sort of like uh, focus here towards, you know, finding that right balance between your emotions and, you know, your thoughts. But to me, this looks like you're, you've taken a step back from a situation and you're, you're trying to think more logically. 
maybe this is not permanent okay but it does look like you're taking a step back to think your way through something and to even consider the fact if it's going anywhere or not you know what i mean let's see look at that with the two of wands looks like you're planning looks like you're you're kind of like in that energy where you're you you're literally in that hermit energy where you're you're taking a step back and you're contemplating some of you have maybe you know taken a step back from even friendships for now it looks like it you're literally being in a hermit in, being in this hermit mode leo i actually see you planning it looks like you're focusing on the bigger picture here you know what really matters this is a lot of uh, practical thinking that i see here with the king of wands energy and the queen of swords again see so with this with this energy it looks like you're ready to pursue your passions there's something that you're really passionately pursuing in your life you know manifesting your dreams working towards your dreams and again you know if it requires for you to cut off a certain connection you will do that okay looks like you're trying to find your way back towards yourself something has stressed you out to no end and you know it almost got to a point you know when something stresses you out so bad you're like i'm not going to be dealing with this anymore kind of an energy okay with the emperor and the knight of pentacles in the reverse energy um this is you taking control back your person's kind of like stuck in their head about you with the ten of pentacles this is somebody wondering what you're up to this is somebody kind of like who sees you as their wish fulfillment but again this person's stuck in their head about you i do think that there's somebody who sees stability with you they see some sort of a wish fulfillment with you this person's kind of like wondering about you they could be stalking you on social media and things like that as well right now it looks like they're quite in their head about you and they're quite in their head about the fact that you have taken a step back from this connection, okay? Which is maybe, you know, a new thing for them. Again, with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, I do think that this person um, is kind of like holding back. They are trying best to <laughs> get a hold of their emotions because in their thoughts, they're feeling a little bit all over the place. It almost looks like somebody's trying to figure out what are you up to? Why are you not engaging in this? Yeah, with the moon energy, this is somebody kind of like stressed out and worried about what are you up to? Um, this is somebody who is trying to find out things about you. I don't know why am I getting stalker like vibes from this person. Like they could be looking at your social media. They're actually worried that you're not talking to them anymore. Yeah, they see you as somebody. This is your energy with the four of pentacles. They do see that you're holding back. For some of you, you're maybe saving money, you know, you're kind of like working towards some sort of a big investment or a big, a big purchase in your life. Um, again, this is somebody who is looking at you, you know, trying to work towards your goals and trying to find out what is going on with you. <laughs> um, they feel like you're keeping, keeping things a secret from them or they're kind of like feeling a little bit left out by you. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> this person's feeling a little bit left out by you. With the two of cups overall energy it does look like this person is wanting to reconnect but a lot of it is in their mind okay um it almost looks like they're stuck in their head thinking about you and what are you up to kind of a thing so somebody here is wondering yeah and this is somebody who wants to bring balance back into the situation maybe they tried to move on from you but they haven't been able to do so with the empress and the knight of swords energy this is somebody who sees stability and uh, growth with you so you know at some point i do feel like there's going to be that energy where this person is going to be rushing in because there's a lot of that energy where they're just wondering what you're up to they're almost like wanting to uh give give you now you know give more into this connection with you now maybe they were not in the past okay the signs that are here are cancer aries gemini leo virgo libra scorpio sagittarius okay could be any sign though check out the link in the description box it's going to take you to the extended and in the extended we will clarify more for your parson
How are they thinking and feeling about you? Their next move towards you, outcome of the situation, advice, or co messages, love notes, as well as guidance from the universe. And what are the general coming up energies for you? So do check it out. It is going to be linked below. Let's see. What messages? What messages? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Yeah, I do see some sort of a new beginning here. I'm not going to lie. It does look like there is something like coming to an end, but somebody's still willing to work on things with you. This could be you as well, trying to focus on something new. Whatever the case might be, I see some sort of like surrender to the divine. I think you've already done that, Leo. You're already surrendering to the divine. I don't think you're working towards, you know, manifesting this it all it almost looks like you're manifesting your dreams and you're letting things be because again you know the energy it's coming from a place of i'm tired of trying to fix it so i'll just let it be kind of an um kind of an energy um nothing will come out of this situation and have faith in your dreams again so to me, it looks like you lost faith and hope in this connection. So now you're focusing on achieving your dreams. It kind of like has given you that energy to push towards your dreams. Okay. It's time to take action with the Aries energy. This is all your energy. Um, and if there is something that you've been wanting, now is the right time to work towards it, Leo. Okay. Okay. I do feel like there's somebody who's going to be taking an action towards you. Let's see what the romance angel oracles have for you, Leo. What are the messages for Leo? Playfulness. Forgiving and learning and making the effort. See? So there is somebody who's going to be making the effort towards you. But the great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. It almost looks like this person's missing you okay playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and it looks like this person wants the old times with you back okay to me it also looks like at times you might be thinking about this person you know the time that you guys have spent forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past we experience more love in the present moments you are trying to look back and learn your lesson leo and you're trying to let go of something here okay Let's get you one more card. Give me one more card for Leo. Release your ex. See? So again, your energy more so looks like you're trying to release a certain situation, learning your lesson from it and moving on. Not because you do not have love, but because you just feel like <clears throat> if something's not working out for me, I cannot just sit there and dwell in that energy. I actually see you not giving up, but surrendering. And your person's wanting to come towards you and making the effort towards you, right? So, that's about it. Those were the energies that popped out for Leo. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify more for your person. How are they thinking and feeling about you? Their next moves towards you? Outcome of the situation, advice, or messages, love notes, and guidance from the universe. So, do check it out. It is going to be linked below. Take care and bye-bye.